video we're going to learn how we can organize our work within Postman. We do organize our work into any other automation project to make our life easy. We're going to do the same here as well. All right, so let's switch to the next slide and see how we can organize our work. And for that, we have to understand what all things are there into Postman, which require some level of organization. All right, so you have to have the Postman account. Once you have the account, you know, it provides you the possibility to create n number of workspaces. So now you see, you can create workspace one, workspace two, workspace n. Of course, in your case, you're going to give it a meaningful name. This is only for the explanation purpose. Then inside each workspace, there are two more things then. The first one is globals. The other is inside a workspace, you can have multiple collections, all right? So now what is globals? So global is a place where you define global variables. So these variables, as the name suggests, globals, they are accessible to all the collections within that workspace. Okay, and we'll talk more about variables in the upcoming videos, but this is just for this uh, particular video. So collections now right you can have like i mentioned multiple collections within a workspace so now inside each collection you can have multiple folders right and you can have multiple environments and a collection provides you some other features as well let's explore the folders first so inside a fol folder right so like i mentioned there could be n number of folders inside each folder you can have further n number of subfolders and under each folder you can create n number of requests like put post patch delete and get and then you can also mention the authorization at the folder level you can write some pre-request scripts at the folder level you can also write some tests at the folder level so now there is an order so you can also write your test cases authorization and pre-request scripts inside a request so when you write those things at the folder level right what happens is so in, now if you define the request at the authorization at the folder level and a folder may have let's say 10 uh, requests inside that so you don't need to mention the authorization information at each request you can lift that up to the folder level and let the request inherit from its parent which in this case is a folder that's about authorization what about pre-request the concept is pretty much the same we are lifting up whatever pre-request scripts that we are writing inside a folder right they are executed first before Pre-request scripts defined in the request are executed. Same is the case with test scripts. So test scripts defined at the folder level are executed first before the test defined in the request under the folder are executed. Okay, that's a very high level thing. I uh, will see all that into practice. Next one is you can create multiple environments. For example, you can create environment for QA. You can create environment for dev. You can create environment for prod right so now what do we have in the environment we have variables we call them environment variables the variable well which we define in under global are called as global variables the variables that we create inside environment are called as environment variables so whatever variable that you create inside an environment are not accessible within other environments so the scope is limited to that particular environment only all right so uh, <clears throat> this is about the environment and then the others they are in the collection so again you have just like you have authorization at the folder level prerequisite and test scripts so at the folder level you have the possibility to define first three things uh, at the collection level as well and as you could see that you can also create variables at the collection level which is missing at the folder level okay so whatever variables that you define at the collection level are accessible to all the requests within this collection and now the order is so you will be lifted the authorization prerequisite scripts test scripts from the request to the folder 
and we can lift it further up to the collection level. So now the order is anything that you define uh, at the collection level is executed first, means prerequisite defined in the collection is executed first, then prerequisite request scripts defined at the folder level are executed, then at the subfolder level and eventually at the request level. And same is the case for the test scripts as well. Now quickly move to the postman and see that in action. Okay, so all you have to do is click on this, click on create new and give your workspace a name. So I'm giving test, select this postman and click on workspace. So now you have created a fresh workspace and now you could see that there are currently no collections defined into that from here you can play with the environment so you click on that and you see currently it's empty uh, and you can create the global from here and you can when you click on the add you can click the create the environment variable from here so let's quickly do that let's create one environment here and give it a base url and let me use my website this time, my web APIs which I've created. So I'm going to use this. So this becomes my base URL. I can add that. Okay. So now an environment is created. You can create one more environment. Up to you. All right. And again, you can use, let's use the same one, but in your case, obviously, it's going to be different. Right. For given dev environments so click on that so now you see you have two environments created okay and how to create the global variable you click on the global and here um, you can say uh, lang so language is english and we will talk about the scope and where to use which variable but this is just for the demonstration of, on how to organize things so let's click on the save button and close it now you can view your environment from here, okay, and you could see that lang is here, and if you select your any of the environment QA, click on this, then you also see the, that particular uh, environment, okay. So we have successfully created environment variables and global variables, now let's create the the collection you can create the collection from here you can create a collection from here and you can also create it from here so in the previous video we have uh, created from these two locations let's do it from here this time so click on the collection and give it test collection one okay click on the create button now you can create folders inside that like i mentioned anytime you see these three dots click on that you will see more options what you can do at that particular location Okay, so again, create a folder, we call it a test folder one. Okay, so create that and then uh, so expand that. Now the folder is created. Now I want to create one more inside that. All right, so say, let's say test sub folder one. Create that. If this is done, okay, you come here and you add a request. I click on that and you call it as and get all animals give, give your request a meaningful name and it is getting saved to this folder that's fine click on that request is added I click on this you can open the request builder section which you talked about and now the thing is because i've created the environment variable base url this is how we have to use our variables um, i'll tell you at what all places we can use that uh, we can't use this syntax at the pre-request pre and test section but at any other place in postman you can use the syntax so name was base url and then api so that's my endpoint all right and all i have to do is click on the send button and this is not working amazing so page not found let me look at the swagger documentation and yeah that's the correct one let's check out okay i think we'll use this already yeah it's very 
Oh, this is running. Yeah, this is running. So this is a very common mistake that we make. So if you open this and look at here, there is a forward slash at the end. And what I was doing, I added one more in here and therefore it was not working. So now it is working. And what we have done is we have created a workspace. We have created the environment variable. We have created the global variable. Uh, we have created request, folder, subfolder. Let's write one simple test case and check that out. So here are the code snippets. And again, we'll talk about these. Uh, status code is 200, right? Execute that. And you could come here and see your test is passed. Now, this is what I was saying. You can lift this test up to the subfolder level. You can come here, paste this test in here, update that. And now if you go, in the, go to the request, you see that I have no test written at the request level. Save it, send that. You still see the same result. Okay, why? This test has come from the subfolder level. We can again lift it further, edit that, come here, cut that from here, update that. So no test at the subfolder level. I'm skipping the folder level, but you can uh, do the same here as well. All right, so what I'm now doing is I'm taking it up to the collection level so i'm editing that coming here this in this all right and update that now i can let's execute this so you see the same result because the tests are coming from collection and just to prove that if i come here cut this up update it send the request and you see there are no results now no no test results because there are no tests all right uh, the other thing that you can do is we talked about the collection variables which you can create so click on the edit and from here you can create the collection variable and you can say uh, name and you can get anything like you know uh, let's say john so this is how you can create a variable in the collection and we'll see how we can use that going forward but this is for this video thank you so much